morning, little red tractor. <laughs> it's my day off, and as a special treat, you're going to get a full wash and polish. <laughs> now, who will be calling me on my day off? Hello? Oh, Mr Jones, how are you? Really? Oh, really? Oh, I see. We'll be right over. I'm sorry, but your wash and polish is going to have to wait. Mr Jones has bought a new baler and it seems to be broken. Morning, lads! Oh, I can't understand a word of these instructions. Maybe what it needs is a little tap. Oh. Ah! Morning, Stan. Uh, sorry to bother you on your day off, but a spot of bother with the bailer here. Well, I'll be happy to have a look, Mr. Jones, but... I've tried everything, of course. Oil, fuel... And, and I'm sure you've tried pushing this. What's that? The starter. Starter? <laughs> Must be your magic touch, Stan. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Um, maybe one of those biscuits? Missed breakfast, you see. Oh, sorry, Stanley. <laughs> Last one. No, thanks. I'll be off now. I'll promise Little Red Tractor a day of pampering. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Laura. Really? Oh, dear. Well, of course, we'll pop over now. Hmm, problem, Stan? No. Laura has accidentally broken one of her husband's model sail ships. I'm going to pop over and try and fix it before he gets home. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Oh, dear. I do feel bad about spoiling Stan's deal. Morning, Veronica. Hi, Stan. Hi, Mr. Red Tractor. Stan, I'm so glad you're here. I know it's your day off, but... I... Oh, that's quite all right. I was only planning to give Little Red Tractor a clean and a polish. We could do that, couldn't we, Ryan? Oh, yeah. Can we? I don't see why not. Now, let's have a look at this boat. What do you think? I think I can make that as good as new. Oh, great. Well, you get yourself comfortable and I'll prepare some lunch. It's the least I can do. Oh, thanks. I'm starving. Hello. That's strange. Oh, come on, Sparky. There's nothing wrong with you. I only finished your service yesterday. Oh, no! I don't believe it. You've run out of petrol. Oh, what am I like? It won't be long before you're back on the road. I've been told you... Hello? You've broken down? In our breakdown truck? Oh, my, you are in a pickle. What was what noise? Oh, uh, there's, there's nothing, nothing. Well, I can't leave the garage just now. Well, call Stan or Mr Jones. Well, they'll be sure to give you a tow bag. Well, must get on. Uh, see you shortly. Stop that now. But, Stan, you can't go without any lunch. Well, Nicola has run out of petrol, I'm afraid. She needs a tow back to the garage. I'll grab a snack later. Oh, poor Stan. This is supposed to be his day off. Sorry, we've got another job. But what about his wash? We've only just started. I know. It's been that kind of a day, I'm afraid. Come on, little red tractor. Nicola needs our help. Thanks for fixing the boat, Stan. My pleasure. See you later. Bye. Poor Stan works far too hard. Now he's missed his lunch. Our little red tractor missed his wash. Stan will do anything for anybody. Well, maybe we could do something for him. 
Like what? We could fix him up a lovely supper. And I can pick him some of my flowers. We should do something for Little Red Tractor too. Hmm, I think I've got an idea. Not long now. Stand on his way and we'll get you home. Hi, Dad. No, he's on his way. Should be here any second. I've been speaking to Laura Turvey, and do you know, Stan has spent his whole day off helping just about everyone. <laughs> what clanking? Anyway, we were thinking we should organise a little surprise, so I need you to hold him up for a while, OK? Hold him up? That shouldn't be a problem. Am I glad to see you. Thanks for coming out. No problem. Did you bring a tow rope? Better than that. I stopped off at the farm and brought you a can of petrol so we can get you home quicker. Oh, uh, yes, that was a good idea. So we'll be on our way in no time, eh? Great. What was that? My stomach. Sorry, it's just every time I've planned to eat today, something has happened to stop me. I'm starving. Oh, and now I've held you up. I'll make it up to you, I promise. No problem. I'm supposed to delay him. Must think of something. Oh. Stan, let me get the petrol cab off for you. Oh, I don't seem to be able to unscrew it. Well, here, let me have a go. How strange. It's not locked, is it? Locked? No, I don't think so. Oh, fit for a king. Little Red Tractor won't believe his eyes when he sees this. How are we doing with the supper? All finished. Well done, you two. Stan will love this. We have all of his favourites. Thanks, Dad. We'll be there in about five minutes. We've got the all clear now. Maybe it's time to unlock the petrol cap. Um, sorry, Nicola. I've tried just about everything to get this thing off. Let me have one more go. Maybe you've loosened it. Look! Well done. You're stronger than you look. Wow, how about that? Well, now we can get the petrol in and all get home. I'm so hungry. Stan, I hate to be a nuisance, but would you follow me back to the garage just in case anything else happens? Well, I'm sure you'll be fine now. Oh, please. OK. I can't wait to see his face. Stan won't believe it. Wait, I think I can hear them. Welcome to the Beach Garage Wash and Polish Service for very special red tractors. What's all this? Well, we decided that both of you are always doing things for us and it was about time we did something in return. Oh, that's great, but you didn't have to. We wanted to. Now, if you'll leave little red tractor here, I have another surprise for you. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Beach Garage Cafe. Oh, this is fantastic. And I am starving. We can soon take care of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a tractor to polish. Well, of course. This is to say thank you for always being so willing to help any of us when we need you. I grew the flowers myself. And I laid the table. The lemonade is from Mr Jones, and I've made the cakes with the flour from Stumpy's windmill. Something from everyone. Well, I'll never forget this day off, that's for sure. How are you doing, little red tractor? 